Darling, why don't you and I go out in the Land Rover today? Welcome back to the Skilled Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a look at the new RC four-wheel drive Galande 2 D90 Heritage Edition. This is a new Land Rover Defender from the people at RC Four-Wheel Drive. New in that this is an entirely new molded body. Uh, this Galande 2 chassis has been around since 2013, believe it or not. I can't believe it's been seven years since this came out, but it has been. Wow. A very nice chassis indeed, and we will talk about the details of that chassis in a moment. But let's get right into this brand new body. Sounds like you're from London. This is one of two versions that RC Four Wheel Drive is offering. This is the single cab pickup in a 11 inch wheelbase uh, variant. Uh, this is a very unique paint. From what I know of the actual Defenders, this is a heritage edition that came out in 2015 to celebrate the final year of this body style. Uh, these have been around for a very long time. And uh, from what I know, Land Rover wanted to commemorate this final moment uh, with two versions, this one and then the autobiography version, uh, which is the more traditional uh, SUV style with a full cab over the rear here. When I saw these, this is the one I wanted. I've always wanted a single cab pickup. I've done a double cab pickup before in the past, uh, lots of effort to modify those and actually I've done it a couple of times. In fact, once for RC four wheel drive to celebrate the uh, release of the James Bond movie that featured uh, two uh, double cab pickup uh, defenders uh, in that movie. Uh, that was very cool. This is very cool as well. I think this heritage green color does a really nice job of sort of speaking to the history of Land Rover. Uh, it's just a really nicely detailed body. Lots of bits and pieces to go over here. Uh, this is not a rehash of the old ones. This is a completely new mold. Uh, opening doors, uh, opening tailgate, opening hood or bonnet for our English speaking viewers. All of these opening parts are held down with very strong magnets. So uh, if you are going on a regular trail ride, they won't be popping open, hopefully. Lots of light buckets are included as well. Really nicely detailed grill up front here. Just a really good example and a much better example than the previous Galande 2. While this is the same chassis, this body is entirely new and it definitely shows that they've been paying attention and wanted to put more effort into making this out of the box a nearly class zero ready truck. It may be slow, but it's 100% British. The best part about this body, I think, is that it's officially licensed by Land Rover. So you're going to get actual decals that say Land Rover on them instead of Land Freeder or something. <laughs> Opening the doors to reveal an interior, you see that it is a very much full flat interior. You could get a full sized uh, ninth scale driver in there without any trouble whatsoever, uh, without having cut knees off or bend them in strange ways, you'll be able to get a full driver in there and that's really fantastic. Uh, it is a pretty glossy black plastic and it could definitely use a dull coat. And once I've gotten this review out of the way, I'll definitely be modifying this truck a lot in order to make it look even better. I think it demands a little bit of weathering, maybe changing the wheels and tires and uh, definitely doing something to that interior to uh, dull it down a bit. A lot of decals are included. This is a really big sticker sheet. Uh, lots of options for stripes. Uh, you can even go and do sort of a camel trophy style. Uh, there's lots of uh, number plates and uh, Defender badges. Um, lots of nice Land Rover badges as well because you'll want to make sure those are on the truck as well. Uh, the Defender uh, labeling on the front there and also a ton of stickers for your interior. So lots of options here to customize it and make it your own. One of the biggest complaints I had about the original Galande 2 D90s was that the side view mirrors were really easy to snap off. Uh, in the package, RC four wheel drive includes both the hard plastic and a soft rubberized compound mirror. So you can drive these without smashing the mirrors off. It's a really nice addition uh, and definitely something that I'm going to be doing. 
Uh, it's really nice to see the details like uh, all of the lights on the back are really nicely molded parts. These clips are actual functioning uh, clips, so you can actually open this rear tailgate. Really nice bit of detail there as well. Uh, and it looks as if when they were building these, they made it so the main body parts uh, were interchangeable. So you remove the roof and this rear window panel, and you can actually put the SUV top on this. And uh, there's a few little spots for magnets there, um, which I did test as well. Those are magnets. So the, that's where you would mount that as well. Uh, lots of room in the back there. Not a truly full, uh, full depth um, drop bed but close enough for jazz uh, there's also a lot of mounting points for what i assume are maybe uh, some accessories that are going to come later full uh, metal front and rear bumpers as well um, in fact there isn't much other than the main body portion that is plastic on this truck let's talk a little bit about this chassis it is a very robust aluminum chassis lots of heft lots of bulk and lots of cross member supports to make this a very rigid chassis uh, the Galande 2, like I said, has been around since 2013, so not much has changed on this. If you've had one in the past, it is exactly the same, uh, save for the way the body mounts to the chassis. Before, you had to undo two screws on either side of the body in order to get it off of the chassis so you could replace the battery. They've replaced those screws with a body clip mounting system, and uh, while it is easier to do than unscrewing four bolts it is still pretty challenging because those uh, if you put those clips in backwards it's nearly impossible to get them out so that is one thing that is sort of a, a bonus but also sort of a uh, strike against it lots of room for a battery uh, most 5000 milliamp packs should fit if it's a hard case you might have a bit of a challenge so uh, you may have to do some uh, maneuvering around the interior tray in order to get a battery to fit. Uh, this is a ready to run, true ready to run truck out of the box. So all electronics are included, radio is included, battery is included, nickel metal hydride, and a charger. So uh, you literally have everything you need to get going. They also include AA batteries for the transmitter and a number of different charging plates. So if you are in a place other than North America, you won't have to go out and buy an adapter. All of the parts falling off of this car are of the finest British craftsmanship. Wow, what a dig. <laughs> I am not a big fan of this radio. It is RC Foil Drive's go-to radio. Not the best quality, impossible to use one-handed, so I'll be swapping that out right away. It is a three-channel radio though, so if you did want to add a winch down the road, you certainly could do that. The Galande 2 uses the R3 single-speed transmission, which is mated to their standard transfer case uh, right down the middle, so a nice realistic drivetrain with the motor up front, uh, transfer case in the middle, and drive shafts out to both Yoda 2 cast axles. The Yoda 2 cast axle, while being called a Yoda axle, is actually fairly accurate to the defenders. So um, no strikes against RC foil drive there. It's definitely within the same sort of realm as what you would expect to see on a full-size Land Rover. Unfortunately, this is a four-link rear and three link front style chassis. So not at all accurate in that regard, uh, but uh, much better for performance in the tiny truck market. And actually with the rate that these springs are, it's a very firm setup. So uh, it's going to definitely need some breaking in, maybe changing the springs on these shocks and definitely adding oil to these shocks as they are not oil filled from the factory. Powering the truck is a 45 turn brushed motor from RC four wheel drive. Uh, plenty of oomph to get it going. Uh, definitely nice for a trail truck. You don't want it overpowered. And for steering duties, they are using a twister. Um, I don't know what the specs is on that. Unfortunately, they don't give any specs on this twister servo. Uh, they do say that it is high torque and it does come with a metal servo horn. So bonus points there. If you do happen to know the specs of this servo, by all means, post it down below. I love reading through your comments and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. The included drive shafts are a combination of metal outputs with plastic uh, sh main shafts. They should hold up to a reasonable amount of use, uh, definitely for a trail truck. Uh, there shouldn't be any issues with them whatsoever. This receiver box that is included is not waterproof, nor is it water resistant. So if you are going to use a third party receiver, you will want to make sure that it's either waterproofed 
or waterproof from the factory. It's a really nice, simple setup, and I can understand why RC four-wheel drive hasn't bothered to do any major revisions to this chassis in seven years. It's a good, solid chassis. I had one when the original Galande 2 came out, and I used that one. It definitely took a lot of abuse from me, more than I probably would put most of my trucks through, and it took it all with a smile. One life, live it. Or as I say, one wife, live it. This is a really nice looking body. I love all of the hinges and all the extra attention to detail, uh, the grill, the air intakes on the fenders, uh, the, the clips for holding the tailgate closed. The actual black molding around the windows is really fantastic. Uh, the whole detailed interior is really nice. There are a few things that I wish they included. Inner fenders. I think we're at that point now where every truck should include inner fenders, especially a scale replica truck like this. Um, definitely something that I would like to see going forward. I know they make Lexan ones. It would be great to just have them installed and pre-painted from the factory. Wheels and tires. This is not my favorite combination and it seems to be a fairly standard go-to for RC four-wheel drive. This is the 1.9 Dirt Grabber. I think it's about 3.85 inches tall uh, on their steel stamped wheel. Uh, it is a beadlock wheel. Uh, it is metal and that's really nice. The foams are definitely a lot firmer than older foams from RC four-wheel drive, so that's good. I'm just a little tired of this pattern. I would like to see something a little more accurate to a Defender, uh, especially in the wheel department. I've got a couple of changes that I'm going to make. Uh, these are the 1.7 Crawler TA BF Goodrich tires from RC Four Wheel Drive with their stamped 10 oval beadlock. Uh, this is a pretty nice looking wheel and tire combo. I think it'll look great on this truck. Also, it would be great to see RC Four Wheel Drive include a basic light kit. Uh, it would be a really nice bonus and I think it would really help set this really great looking body off. Are you a fan of Defenders? They're definitely not as popular in the North American market as they are in other parts of the world, but I've always had a real affinity for them. They are some of the original off-road vehicles. While they might have been originally used as farm equipment, there was definitely a nice movement to make this an all-around great vehicle for off-roading, and the pedigree definitely speaks for itself. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing some modifying and weathering of this paint job, uh, it's going to be a great truck and I cannot wait to have more fun with it on the trails. If you're interested in seeing more, by all means, make sure to follow along with the channel. We've got a lot more reviews, a lot more trucks, and a lot more building coming this summer. I am really excited about what we've got planned, including a new monthly mayhem, which is starting very soon with my friend Josh from Harley Designs. And if you're looking into getting into the more scale end of this hobby, there are no better starts than right here with this nice hard body D90 on the Galande 2 from RC Four Wheel Drive. So there you go, first look, review, and run of the new RC Four Wheel Drive D90 on the Galande 2. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.